In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Power BI Desktop to SharePoint folder. If you have a list of files in your SharePoint folder, how can you bring them into Power BI Desktop for reporting? I have this SharePoint group called Training Ops on dbrand consulting tenants and I would like to connect to all the files under my documents in the folder for this SharePoint. How do I do that? The first thing to do is to come here to this URL and copy it. Once you copy the URL, go to Power BI Desktop. For my Power BI Desktop, I'll click on Get Data and click on More. Then here, I will search for SharePoint. Right here, I can see SharePoint folder, SharePoint online list and SharePoint list. What I want to connect it to is the SharePoint folder. So I'll click on SharePoint folder and click connect. Remember the link I copied from SharePoint folder? I'll paste the link here. Now, this is why most people get this wrong. When you are connected to SharePoint folder, all this unnecessary uh, URL, you don't need them. You don't need them. What you need really is the URL up to where the name of the SharePoint folder is. If you look at the SharePoint folder, remember the name of this SharePoint group is Training Ops. So I'll come here and delete all the unnecessary URL up to where I have Training Ops, which is this. All right, dbrandconsulting.net.sharepoint.com/site/trainingops, and I'm going to click OK. Now, SharePoint is asking me for authentication. Now, to do that, I'll come to Microsoft account because I'm part of the dbrand tenant. I would like to sign into the tenant using Microsoft account. I'll click on sign in. Then I'll sign in with my credentials. After signing in with my credentials, I'll click on connect. Right here, I can see all the files in my SharePoint uh, um, folder and I can decide to transform it or do a combine and transform if they're actually in a folder that I want to combine, just like the way I show you how to combine from folder on your desktop. Right here, I can click on transform just to look at all the data I have on my SharePoint folder and filter down to the one I really want to use in my report. Here is all the files I connected to in my SharePoint and then I can actually filter down to the one I want to see. I have a lot of files there. I have the PowerPoint file, I have an Excel file, I have a different file. Let's assume I want to connect to this file called budget. Right, I will just come here and filter my reports to only have um, budgets and click OK. Once I filter my reports to budget, then I need to look at what I need to really open here. Remember, I don't need all these extension dates and everything. The only thing I need is the content. So I can click on this, this two column and say right click and remove other columns. Once I remove other column, then I can expand my content to really show what I have inside there by clicking on this expansion. Immediately I click on this expansion, it's going to expand the content by creating an invoke functions for me and I will see the content of the budget table. Immediately I click on that, I can see the invoke function which is trying to create a combined table for me. Remember I'm connecting to a SharePoint folder. So I need the bu budget from here and I'll click OK. And now you can see my budget table populated and I can see the budget here. 